So I've gone ahead and added a roof to my house. So I've gone for an angled roof on these two sides and I've also used a roof by extrusion to do the awning over here. I've also gone along and added all the interior furniture to my house, including windows and doors, both the first floor and the ground floor. So all that's left to do now is increase the appearance of our house. So it's looking pretty old with this brick style here and very mismatching with all our windows etc. So this video is going to focus on us going through the different materials and how to change them for the different components. So first of all we're going to go and look at the walls. So if I come along here and I select a wall, you can see here up here it's got brick veneer 250 timber. I can click on edit type and before I'd make any changes to materials I want to duplicate it so I'm not overriding the original timber. So here I'm going to just type in custom mat 1 because uh, I don't know what material I'm going to choose just yet. Now in the structure I choose edit and you can see here I have a couple of different things I can change. So I've got masonry brick brown here that would change the material for the outside of my wall. Uh, this is the interior so in between the two layers of the wall so we don't need to worry about that and then we have the inside of the wall timbers so if you want to change the paint in a room for example that's where you change it there. For this video we're just going to worry about the exterior so I'm going to click on that. As per previous we want to create a new material coming over here to the appearance tab making sure we're coming over here to replace the asset and then we can start browsing through all the options that we have here. So for example I might go down to wall paint and choose a nice dark grey. Once I've done that come over to the graphics tab and click use render appearance. We also want to come into the identity and give it a name. For example wall paint dark grey. Go ahead and press OK. OK on that, OK on that and that will update that wall. Now to quickly add that to the rest of my walls I'm going to come over here to this wall that I haven't changed yet right click on that, go select all instances in entire project and that will select all my exterior walls. Over here all I need to do now is choose my wall I made earlier and that will update the rest of those walls. So the other thing we might want to change is our windows. And to change the materials on these, we might have to do something a little bit different depending on how the component was made. So for example, in this one, if I go edit type, there's nothing in there for me to change the material. So what I need to do is once it's selected, choose edit family. I can also get to the screen by double clicking on that window. Now in this case, I want to change all these elements here, so I'm holding down control and clicking on them, making sure I don't select the glass. And over here on material, I can click on that. Again, choose create new material to create my new material. Placing asset in my appearance library, this time I want to find a black aluminium. So I'll go with this anodized black, place that, change my name to something I can remember, and in graphics, click Use Render Appearance. So go ahead and click OK, and now my window is black. Now, I need to make sure I come up here and say Load into Project to load my changes back into the file. If you have more than one file open, it's going to ask which one you want to put it into. So I'm going to select my right file here, click OK. It'll come up and ask if you want to overwrite the existing version. I want to do that because what that will do is it'll change that window and anywhere else I've used that window type, for example over here, it's updated that to be the same material. So in other components it might be a little bit easier than that. For example if I click on this table here, I can come up to edit type and you can see it has some materials and finishes section here. So I can just click on that now, walnut, and I might just choose this wood one here that I have, click OK, and it's updated my table to 
now have a wood finish on it. Sometimes you'll get components where you won't have any of the previous two options that we've already explored. For example, this bed here, which I got from Revit City. If I go to Edit Type, there's nothing there to help me change the materials. So what I can do there is up here on Edit Family, open that up. I'll go ahead and make that realistic so I can see what's happening here. And again, over on the left here, there's no materials, and I can't actually select any of the individual parts. If I come up here to the Manage tab, choose Materials, it's going to show me a list of materials that are used with this family. For in this case, I've got this one here, now it's not in English, but if I look at my bed, that's the one that matches up with that wood type. Now I could go ahead and edit this material in this family and change it, however the material's already been loaded within my Revit file. So if I've already added the bed to my Revit file, what I need to do is remember the name of that material, go back into my Revit file, and in my Revit file where I've got that bed, I can come up to Manage tab again, Materials, and find that material there. So there it is there. I'm going to go to my Appearance tab, I'm going to swap that appearance. In this case I'll just choose this one, click OK, and you can see that has updated my bed to use that new material. So that's the three common ways to change components that are in your Revit file. The other thing we might want to do is change our floors. So for example this deck I have out here, I'm going to click on that over here on Edit Type. I want to duplicate this first. I'm going to call this my deck and edit the structure, come into by category and follow the process we did before to pick a deck. So I've found a nice brown wooden floor to use there. To change the interior floor of our house, I'm going to go to my ground floor floor plan. Now in this case I might want to have this floor separate to my bathroom here and my garage. So I'm going to go ahead and select the floor and I'm going to have to change this now so I have three separate floors. So to do that I'll choose Edit Boundary go ahead and click on my boundary line there pull these back to the outside of that bathroom and then draw that in so it's a closed circuit. How to change my floor over on my garage Instead of dragging these lines, I'm going to choose this aligned option. I'm going to want it aligned to this wall here, and I want this line aligned to it. And that adjusts these other lines for me. So go ahead and hit that tick, hit no on that dialog there. Now I need to go ahead and add two more floors. So back on my architecture tab, choose floor. I'm going to use a rectangle for this one here. Click OK. No, I don't want that to happen. Architecture floor. Again, I can use a rectangle tool. Click OK and no. Back on my 3D view. It's still got my floor here selected, so I'm going to come along, click Edit Type, Duplicate. I'm going to call this Generic Garage. So that's my garage floor. And in my Edit Structure, I can choose a concrete material. That one will do for now. Click OK and OK to back out. And again on my tiled floor for my bathroom, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to call it Tiles. OK, Edit Structure. And either find an existing tile or create a new material to find a tile that you might want. And you can see now I have three separate floors for my house. So I've gone ahead and made a few changes to that file. I've gone ahead and made that grass a darker green. I've changed the floor here to concrete. And I've come in and I've split the topo surface so I now have a driveway. And I've also gone in and added a lot of different materials to my house. And it's starting to look a lot better than what it did previously. What I need to do now is add a ceiling and some lights, and then our house will be ready to use in our graphical representations.